Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we have got Nukes Top 5. Got a new video out. And this is Top 10 Ghost Videos So Scaly You'll Have Gravy Pants. What the fuck does that even mean? Is, is that your way of telling me that these are so scary I'm gonna shit myself? Is that your new way of telling me they're nukes? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, hit subscribe button, comment what you think down below. Let's go. Jordan Curran and his two children were enjoying a quiet night at an Airbnb in Anchorage, Alaska. It's late in the evening when the kids fall asleep in Jordan's arms and he takes a video to preserve this precious moment. What happens next absolutely scares the out of him. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh my god, I'm so. F oh my god, look, legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the f is that? Jordan hears a creepy growl, and when he looks at his phone, he spots the dark silhouette of a figure with no. Well, let's get this sh out of me. Let's get this sh out of me. We are only 48. Seconds in, and it scared the sh out of me. I didn't expect the person to be there. I'll, I'll, okay. Damn. Not good already. Visible features standing right behind him. He jumps up and spins around, but there's nothing there. The figure has disappeared. To this day, Jordan still has no idea who or what was in the room with him and his children. He still worries about what might have happened if he hadn't been awake. The Grip of the Grave Jimena Baron, an Argentine star with more than 6 million Instagram fans, usually posts glimpses of her daily life as she travels, acts, and sings. But one day she posts a video on her Instagram story that is very out of character. The video is security footage that shows Jimena hanging out at her friend's house in Argentina. Something happens that Jimena says still gives her chills to this day. Jimena says she felt something forcibly touch her back. Oh she jumps up and turns around, expecting someone to be there, perhaps playing a prank. Bro. There's no one. But, did you see it? Well, probably not, because this video looks like it was shot with a potato. A potato 99 in the urge of Arnold kicks potato 99, a shit ass golly. But after posting the video to Instagram, Jimena's worried fans pointed out that in- Look at that! Fucking hand! The fucking hand! F fingers or a hand just to- oh. You know, no, 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 that's, that's, no, not, no, no. In the video, they see two ghostly hands grabbing at her head and right shoulder. Jimena says that she is shocked and doesn't know what to do other than to just move on and try to forget. Since then, Jimena has never posted anything more about the paranormal. Mimic. Melody Rose from Los Angeles, California is recording a TikTok video about perfume when something very strange happens. Okay, if you're like me and you're looking for a new signature scent that like will have you needing to beat off men, beat hey. off, pause, but you know what I mean, like. Who just said, hey? You won't have to beat them away. Let me rethink this. Basically, everybody will hunt you down and be like, what are you wearing? Because one time I had left the room and this chick followed me and she was like, even though you're no longer in the room, I can still smell you. What is that? Bitch, this. And I keep buying the Discovery sets. One, because they're cheaper. Two, because this brand has so many scents that I'm like, which one do I even love? Like, I don't know. I'm leaning. Why is this person? Who is this voice? 
voice that just keeps getting off. Man, we got a hey, a giggle, because she's talking shit. We got another one that says, Melody, who is this? Towards the Arabians, Tonka, I think that's how you say it. An unidentified childlike voice can be heard saying, hey, and Melody. Went beat hey. off, pause, but you know what I'm like, which one do I even love? Like, I don't. I can hear Melody. Are you sure this isn't like her child or anything? Oh, no. Now, Melody doesn't hear this voice at all and is completely unaware of what she just captured. So she switches to another topic and records another video. But then she hears it. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have. Sh yeah? My bad. So I forgot. I didn't think about it. I'm home alone. And I thought. I thought someone called me and I'm. But I'm home alone. Melody. Maybe it was my cat. And she. Sounds like a human, sometimes. That was you, right? Right? Someone calls out Melody's name, loud enough that she actually answers back. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh yeah? Well, it's insane. It's insane the thought to me that this ghost knows her name because I don't remember scenarios where ghosts usually knows the names of people unless they've lived there or something like that or they connect. This one don't seem like she just she just knows the name of Melanie and is just trying to get her attention. Kind of messing up her videos and all that. This one is just fucking weird. But then Melody remembers something creepy. She's home alone. She immediately begins to freak out and the voice calls her name again. Melody. Now equally strange, a creepy hissing or breathing sound can be heard in the audio of her entire recording. So after posting the video to TikTok, many viewers believe that Melody is dealing with a mimic, a type of entity that copies the voice of its target and their family in an attempt to take over their life. But others believe that it might simply just be a malfunctioning Amazon Alexa. But Melody says that she has no Alexa devices in her home. Another thing, Alexa, I don't have an Alexa. So is Melody in danger from- Hold on, did the voice, so she never said this, did the voice sound familiar? Like did she recognize, did she hear the voice and go, Oh, you're, uh, like, that's why she answered back because she heard the voice of someone she knew? Or did she just hear a voice and respond? From a supernatural force? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Scream. Sierra J. Casey, a concerned mother and TikTok user, has been noticing some very strange behavior from her daughter at their Texas home. One day, the toddler comes running out of her bedroom, terrified and refusing to go back. TikTok user Sierra is worried that something might have happened and checks the footage on her ring nanny cam. What she discovers shocks her to her core. The toddler stands in her room looking around and seemingly confused. Then a loud scream pierces the air, sending the little girl running for mommy. Sierra J. Casey says her daughter claimed that a quote, woman screamed at her. But when she checked her room, she found no one there. Even creepier, previous videos show the toddler being scared in her room before, seemingly staring at someone that we can't see. Now, Sierra Casey believes she might have caught a ghostly encounter on camera, but worried TikTok viewers warn her that it could be something worse. A hacker accessing her ring camera. 
So is it a ghost call on camera? You know what? I'd go with that. I'd go with that one. That sounds more fucked up. That sounds more fucked up because the voice can be talking to the girl and saying stuff to the girl. And the mother has no idea. Get new cameras. That will answer your question. Get a new camera system. If you get a new camera system and get a whole new setup and it doesn't happen anymore, she might think the girl is gone. Do you know what I mean? Try, they should try that. Camera or something even more terrifying. A real person watching and scaring a little girl in her bedroom. <coughs> we need scary video. That's an evil person if you do that. I'm just saying, if you do that, that is evil as fuck. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Old Bayless Paper Mill While on a motorcycle road trip, Kenneth Statkin and his friend Justin decide to explore the ruins of Bayless Paper Mill in Austin, Pennsylvania. The paper mill was destroyed over 100 years ago when the nearby dam collapsed, sending a massive wall of water crashing down on the factory. 78 people lost their lives. Now it should be noted that Kenneth and Justin are not YouTube paranormal investigators. They're not even urban explorers. They are just curious travelers passing through. So, when the guys arrive in town, they meet a local man who warns them that the Bayless Mill is haunted by the victim's ghosts, and that he has even had a paranormal encounter himself. That, you definitely think that place is haunted? Oh yeah, most it? definitely. The paper mill is haunted as Because I went there the one night, me and my buddies, we all went over there and uh, like something ran behind us. No kidding. On Snapchat, like he caught it on camera and everything. Kenneth and Justin arrive at the paper mill and begin exploring the decaying structure. Just as the sun is starting to set on their day, Kenneth and his friend find the mill's dark basement and head down to check it out. And this is when things take a very creepy turn. Oh my goodness. And let's go down there and see what's happening. You want to go down there? Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. Little did we know the experience we would have would leave chills running down the back of our necks the rest of the night. Hold on, I want to get that lower, closer down here. There's a bone on the beaver dam there. Good. Holy sh! See it right there? What is it? A bone. Bone. I don't see it. Oh, it is. <laughs> What the f Holy smokes. Explorers here very bizarre. Nope, well, that's not what I let to. Yep, these people are me. They're like, they're what they're like. That, that, that's the actual person. Nope, we're, we're out of there. Our sounds, and then a strange voice is heard from the darkness. It sounds very close by. Now the first whimpering sounds could be explained away as simply the odd calls of some strange animal. However, the last sound is different. It's much louder and almost sounds like someone or something calling for help. Hello? Uh -huh. Yep, get the f out of there! So the question is, if this was an animal, why would it come closer to the sound of people instead of just running off? Well, whatever it is, Kenneth and Justin are freaked out, and they decide to just get out of there. Not all animals run from people. If you don't bother them, they don't bother you, right? That's like, but they'll go closer to you. They don't care. There are some animals that are way more ballsy than you think. 
So considering the mill's tragic history, could it be that Kenneth accidentally captured the ghostly voice of one of the 78 people who passed away when the Austin Dam collapsed? You decide. The Haunted Hill House. The Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. The home is owned by Catherine and Edward Estes, who allow guests to rent out the Hill House overnight so that they can have their own supernatural experience in the home. Visitors have reported hearing voices being scratched and bitten, and some have even had things thrown at them. The owners say that most guests get so freaked out that they leave early and often don't even make it through the night. So one night, a group of friends I gotta be here. I gotta see this place. Where is this located? Where is this located? And who would want to go with me? Because I want to experience this. I need to see this. I need to experience this myself. Rent out the Hill House just to have a little spooky fun. Now, none of the group are paranormal investigators. In fact, they're not even really believers in the supernatural at all. But that is about to change. One member of the group, Victoria, lays down on a bed and jokingly starts to taunt one of the spirits that is said to haunt the house. Needless to say, it did not go well. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. And then they ran out. We're gonna rewind that and we're gonna show you in regular screen. She got yanked up. Look, you know, uh, please, the, the, I appreciate these ghosts. They ain't fucking around. I appreciate these ghosts. These ghosts. So it goes hard and they're like, oh yeah, get the fuck off our bed. Top bed, bitch. You don't sit on, you don't, you don't get permission to yell at, the fucking yell at us and lie on our bed. Get the f off and they yanked her off. Hell yeah. She's fucking running. Oh, she's fucking running. They are running. Something the seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends watch in horror. The security camera in the room catches the action as Victoria quickly gets to her feet and the group just makes a run for it. One of the guys is so panicked that he drops his phone and doesn't even stop to pick it up. Now, cut to almost one hour later. It's around three in the morning and a guy named Drew wants to test out the supposedly paranormal activity for himself. He enters the same room and immediately begins to aggressively taunt the ghost. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if it really wants to attack someone, why doesn't it attack a man? Same room, Look at the guy in the white hat right I'm here, guys. Follow him. him. And, 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 soon, before I can even finish my sentence, I'm um. in the air. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull. Um, but you don't ma look. See, so you gotta respect these. These go. This is their house. Once the people need to understand this, okay? And this is why ghost people always have something. If something bad happens to them, this is why. Well, you need to go in a haunted place. Understand it ain't your house. It ain't your home. You ain't get. You ain't in control. You never have been in control. You never will be in control. Your asses are sitting there, and you're in their house. Okay? You're in their damn house. And you need to show them respect. You show them respect, they'll show you respect. For most cases. Unless the ghost is a complete asshole. Well, every ghost go show you how it is. And just make, even if you show them respect, they still want you to know it's their house. Pull that. Uh, I ran right through both of them. Did you see he got pushed? So, Drew gets his wish. He is violently shoved by something. And then he almost knocks down his two friends as he runs from the room. But it gets even weirder. Because as Drew and his friends run out, something seems to yank the door closed behind them. And if you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. Now since these creepy incidents, the Haunted Hill House has gotten national recognition online and through various news outlets. Sean Gigi, a news reporter for local TV station WFAA, goes to the Hill House to interview the owners, Catherine and Edward. But what he doesn't know is that he too is about to have a paranormal experience, all caught by his own news camera. What? What was that? Did you hear that? In the middle of the interview, we heard something scratching. My microphone didn't pick it up very well, but I'm being completely honest when I tell you I heard it clearly.
and the creepy incidents at the Haunted Hill House just don't seem to stop. Because remember Victoria who got yanked off the bed by some unseen force? Well, a year after her first terrifying visit, Victoria returned to Hill House again. And this time, something scratched her back so badly that her shirt was soaked in blood. What? Oh my God. I gotta go here. This is so weird. This sounds, makes me sound insane. But the more they tell these, I need to go to this place. Where is this located? I need to find a group of people to go to this with. Because I need to have it be people that actually want to go to experience this with me. I need to go to this place. I need to. I freaking need to. So is the Hill House in Mineral Springs, Texas one of the most haunted places on Earth? And would you stay overnight <laughs> and taunt the spirits inside? No, because it's their house. I ain't gonna taunt them. I want them to show themselves, but you're not fucking flip a table and some shit. Show me, show, leave me, look, I respect you, but you know. I want the world to know that your ass is in control of this environment. And attacking me just makes me feel, it just, it just, it just paints you in a bad light. The people want to see you do some shit. Flip some chairs and shit. Throw a chair across the room. I'll get a reaction. Just, you know. Let me know down in the comments. It follows. Mamo and Patty, a couple who explore haunted places in Mexico, visit a cursed forest where a woman mysteriously vanished without a trace. Soon after this investigation, the couple begins to experience strange unexplained events in their home that absolutely terrify the entire family. No, mames. No seas mamador. No seas mamón, güey. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Allá adentro no hay nadie, eh. Se los juro que allá adentro no hay nadie, güey. El cuarto está completamente solo. Aquí estamos nosotros. Sí, sí, lo grabé. Checa, se va a ver. Se va a ver. Sí, sí, lo grabé. Mamo and Patty begin to worry that the spirit of the woman who dis... No, bro. No, bro. ...appeared in the woods might have followed them home, restless and unable to move on to the other side. The paranormal activity in the house becomes so... You should try to help it. If this is a missing person spirit, try to help it. Try to help what it can. Maybe get a priest or something. Try to help it move on to the other side. Don't be scared of it, because it just needs help. It's not angry. It doesn't know how to get out. It's stuck in this vortex between the all life and the afterlife. And it's just stuck. And it can't get out. Try to help it. So intense that it even starts to wake them up at night. ¿Quién eres y qué quieres? Espérate, espérate, espérate. Ten cuidado, te vas a caer. Ay, cabrón. Hay que bajar, hay que bajar. Ay, te ordeno que te largues de nuestra casa. Oh, la madre. The couple is hard. Yeah, the, 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 maybe I'm just, just maybe there'll be people in the paranormal who understand the paranormal more that will disagree with me. I think they should be trying to help it move on. Maybe it's not there. Maybe a priest or whatever can't. But treating it this way, it's, 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 it's the spirit in distress. There's a spirit stuck. Can't get out. I'm going to assume it did not want to be stuck here. Horrified when they hear the voice of a sobbing woman coming from somewhere in their home. Memo checks everywhere, but there's no one there. 
Now, I should mention that Memo and Patty stream many of their paranormal encounters live on YouTube as they happen. They say that they want to prove that their experiences are real and absolutely terrifying. So, cut to another night, and the family is woken up again by sounds coming from outside their bedroom. Memo immediately starts live streaming from his phone. What happens next is downright chilling. Live viewers watch in horror as a woman's face can be seen looking in through a window. But that I couldn't tell if that was a picture or that was a window. That's fucking. I thought it was a window, but I wasn't fully really sure. But that looks terrifying. Window is on the house's second floor. Memo is unaware of what has just happened. Then he finally reads through his live stream chat. La ventana. En esa. Hijo. En la ventana de las escaleras, esa. ¿Qué vieron ahí? Sí, ¿qué vieron? ¿Qué vieron? ¿Qué había? ¿Qué había? ¿Pero qué? Ay, no. no, no mames, la. la mo no, no manches, no. Sí, no puede, es imposible que haya alguien ahí parado y les voy a demostrar por qué. Ay, yo se me da cosa bajar, hija. Miren. No, miren, ahí está la ventana, ¿sale? Jálale aquí, hija. Chequense. ¿A dónde está la ventana? ¿Ya vieron? So the window is placed that high. There's no way someone could just be there standing there. O sea, son aproximadamente como 4 o 5 metros a la ventana. Memo shows that it would have been impossible for anyone to look through the window on their second floor as it's just way too high for anyone to reach. So just who or what is this? Memo and his wife don't know what they might have brought home from the haunted exploration of the woods. Is it a lost spirit looking for help or something more sinister? A night at the museum. I was gonna say that does look more sinister than a woman who needs help, I'll say that. Him. Unfortunately, the source of this next creepy video is unknown. The video shows security guards at a museum somewhere in Kazakhstan watching the CCTV camera at 7.30 at night. The guard spots something absolutely unnerving. That's not real. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That is not real. There's no way that's real. Haram, Jawak Turi. Haram, Jawak Turi, yeah? You're not going to get it. 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 You're there is no way this is real. Because the source is unknown, I have to find this one suspicious. There is no damn way this one's real. A pale figure that appears to be wearing a white gown is curiously walking among the museum exhibits. The guards have no explanation for what they are seeing. They believe the mysterious figure is a ghost. But without a reliable source for information, We'll never know exactly what happened here.
So is this a genuine paranormal encounter? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. The Window Watcher Popular urban explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer is traveling through France when he finds the perfect abandoned house to explore. The two-story house has been abandoned for years and it seems that the former owner has left almost everything behind. Colin films his exploration as he carefully walks through the house to discover its secrets. He takes photos and videos for his social media and eventually leaves, satisfied that he has documented everything of note inside the house. But it isn't until he looks back at the footage later that he discovers that he had missed something while filming the outro for his video. Something very spooky. Right guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explore underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. I'll call and put all the pictures on Facebook. Ten of us from Instagram, and I'll see you on next week's video. That intro was a bunch of rambling. I can't actually make out anything on that video, on oh, what he said in that intro, except for see you in the next video. But also, it probably didn't help that I literally, all I saw was that, and I was completely transfixed, transfixed on it. Someone can be seen peeking out the window from behind a curtain. Now, I have carefully watched Colin's entire uncut video, and there is absolutely no sign of anyone inside that house. From the moment Colin enters, no sound of movement can be heard. The only noise is from Colin himself as he wanders around the house. Even creepier, this is not the only strange thing that he captures on video during this visit. After he posts the video to YouTube, one of Colin's sharp-eyed viewers spots something truly bizarre. So we'll start with this one first because this one looks like it's got a lot of stuff inside and it has I've got some more photographs here, look. The ceiling is completely covered in mold. Bit of condensation up in the corner again. And look at this, the cupboard completely filled with clothes still. Wow, absolutely amazing. Look at that, it looks as if something's been climbing in. Oh God, I mean, then the bag just hit my leg. <laughs> I thought someone tapped my leg. Um, it looks as if something's been climbing in here and sleeping in here, maybe. Did you see it? In the reflection of a cupboard mirror in a bedroom, a pair of feet can be seen standing underneath the window curtain, oh, wow. almost as if someone is hiding behind the curtain. Wow. But when Colin pans the camera back towards the curtains, the mysterious feet are gone. Also, if we look back at the footage from a couple of minutes before, there were no feet there when Colin entered the bedroom. So, did the urban explorer accidentally capture not one, but two paranormal events on camera? Let me know. You can watch this in that's insane. That's actually some insane sh Tire exploration and many more over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Night Watch. A security guard working at a factory in Mexico is confused when he meets a new employee that no one, not even his boss, has told him about. The next day, he complains to a co-worker about the odd conversation he had, only to be told that there is no new employee. When they check the building's security footage, they are shocked. He's talking to no one. He's straight talking to nobody right now. It's clear in the footage that the guard has a full-on conversation with no one. He pulls out the chair next to him and waves for whoever he's talking to to come sit down. And that's not all, because did you see it? Right as the guard pulls out the chair, a dark figure with arms and legs seems to move past him and then disappear into thin air. Many believe that the security guard was talking to the ghost of an old employee who might have passed away at the factory. 
maybe even someone who had a fatal accident on their first day of work. But is this a real ghost caught on camera or not? That is up to you to decide. Thanks so much for watching. Maybe that is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought of these in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.